Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this really cool looking text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. Now, this tutorial is inspired from a very talented artist called Pixrate. Link to his Instagram profile is in the description below. So, with that said, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to go with 2k resolution you can go with 4k or 1080p whatever that you want i'm going to go with 2560 frame rate is set to 30 fps and duration is set to 10 seconds let's call this render as this is going to be our main render composition press ok then let's create a new composition for our text this is going to be our text placeholder so let's call this text here and for the width, I'm going to set this to 1920 by 620. Press OK. Let's select the text tool and type in our text. So I'm going to type in dope motions. And then we can align it into the center. If you don't see this align tab, you can go into windows and there you'll find it. Right now it's out of my frame, but you will find it on the top. And I'm going to move it somewhere around here. Let's select the text tool again and type in a second text. This is going to be designer. And for this, I'm going to use a different font that is accordion. I think I'll go with the eight weight. There we go. Let's bring down the tracking or kerning, not tracking, kerning to zero. And let's increase the size. So this is looking pretty nice, I think. Maybe a bit more bigger. All right, for the width, I'll bring that down a little bit. So I'll press Ctrl K to bring up the composition settings and I can preview this while I'm doing this. I'll make that a bit shorter like so. So yeah, this looks much better. And let's move this text a little bit. So there we have it. Now, right now, it looks very flat. So to add a very soft edge to this sharpen curves, what we can do is right click and add a new adjustment layer. Let's call this unsharp. Select it, go into effects and presets and search for Gaussian blur. Double click to apply that. And I'll set the blurriness to 17 should be fine. And then to bring back the sharpness, I'm gonna use an effect called TC threshold. Now, if I increase the value, you can see nothing happens. So this is because our background is transparent so to fix that we can press ctrl y to create a new solid called this bg for background make sure it's black press ok and put it at the back and let's tweak the settings now so you can see now we can play around a little bit with the edges so i can place it somewhere around there now because we have some small text it can mess it up a little so be careful while using this. Now, I want, I'm personally like this particular look, but if you want, you can, you know, just don't use this particular effect and go with the text as it is. But I like the this look. It gives that nice rough look to the edges, which I really like. Now, let's create another new composition. Let's go back to our main comp size. That is 2560 by 1440. And I'm going to call this composition, let's call this camera box press ok now before we move on let me introduce you to the partner of this video that is odoo expenses running a business is already tough and managing expenses just adds unnecessary chaos receipts everywhere manual reports endless follow-ups with odoo expenses you can simply scan a receipt upload it and even mail it and odoo fills in the details automatically all your expenses get grouped into a single report ready to submit in just a few clicks managers can review comment and approve your expenses instantly and once approved everything syncs automatically with accounting and sales no manual entries no back and forth you can even reimburse your employees or re-invoice expenses to your your clients and track payment status in real time plus detailed report lets you analyze your expenses by employee category date or department and the best part odoo gives you your first app free for life with unlimited hosting and support so if you want to manage your expenses without the headache check out odoo expenses link is in the description now let's get back to the video 
then we can drag the text here composition and make sure to make it or turn it into a 3d layer then go right here and switch this from classic 3d to advanced 3d right click and create or add a new camera so i'm going to go with the default preset and uh, press ok one thing that we should do here is to change the background so that we can see our composition properly so press ctrl k and change the background color to something gray so that we can see it much more properly now what we have to do is create a cube or a box using this 3d shape or this 3d layer so to do that first of all make sure your snapping is turned on and then duplicate this layer press ctrl d then go and let's move this window a bit more bigger like so and change the view from active camera to maybe something like let's go with the right okay also i'm going to turn on the title action save just to be a bit more precise and then press ctrl r to bring up the rulers and drag the guides in the center like so now make sure to be as precise as possible and one from the top as well all right so now we have our shape right over here now what we can do is duplicate this one press ctrl d to duplicate it now what we can do is select this one and let's move it right over here and press r to bring up the rotation and let's rotate it so let's set the x value or x rotation to minus 90 there you go and also i can go into a custom view and just to see what's happening here press c and you can move it and let's snap it so press v again and i'm going to snap it right over here so you can see we have something like this right now let's duplicate this one more time press ctrl d rotate it so let's bring that back to zero press v and snap it and just using this particular technique you can basically create a cube so this would not look proper so what we have to do here is rotate this so press v again let's select this so like plus 180 degrees yep okay that is looking fine press b select this one press d to duplicate it put it on the top and let's snap it at the bottom make sure everything is working proper and then i can select this press r and let's rotate the y direction of this one as well to the x direction to plus 90 degrees i think that should be fine now let's go back to our um, right view and you can see now we have a cube that looks like this so what we're going to do is select all the four layers and drag them until they are properly in the center like this so i'm going to eyeball this a little let's move this using the arrow keys okay and now we want the anchor point right here in the center so to do that i can change the color of this one first so that we know this is the main text and what we can do is select the pan behind tool and let's move the anchor point right here in the center and then select the remaining three layers and parent them to this main layer and if you don't see this parent and link option you can press f4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible so now what is going to happen is if i go back into my main camera and if we rotate this so I press r and if we rotate this we have this really nice cube and that is exactly what we want now let's animate this so i'm going to create a keyframe on the x rotation make sure it's set to zero go to three seconds and give it a one complete rotation okay so now we have a very nice and simple rotation we can hide everything now so we can hide the title action safe as well we can hide the guides as well now i want the animation to loop so in order to do that i'm gonna hold alt and click on the stopwatch and add a very simple loop out expression so loop out open and close parentheses so now we have a continuous looping animation now to make it look a bit more interesting we can add some nice motion to it and to do that add the motion using the graph editor so i can basically select the keyframe right click keyframe assistant easy ease them and we can go into the graph and tweak it but we can use a very simple method by using a free script called keyframe wingman that comes with animation composer this is not a sponsored video by them so i'll go right here in the window and you should see it on the top once you install it link is in the description again below and here we have the keyframe wingman so i'm going to select the keyframe and let's stretch this like so to around maybe somewhere around 60 so now we have a really nice motion you can see but we will take this one step forward so what we can do is go into the graph editor right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph i'm going to select keyframes basically the points and let's 
drag those below so i select the point and drag them like so to run let's say somewhere around let's first of all make some room right here somewhere on this line that is minus 100 and this one as well so now if i preview the animation we have this really nice motion as you can see pretty cool right so this was the most uh, complicated part of this particular tutorial i think now let's start with the fun thing so i'm gonna let's move this right here i think that should be fine so here we have our base animation ready now we can start playing around with this so i'm gonna create a new composition and let's call the displacement press ok and drag the camera box layer inside this and right click create a new solid layer or we can press ctrl y as well call this um let's call this displace and make sure it's a black well it doesn't matter but yeah it's fine and on this particular layer i'm going to go into effects and presets right here add a gradient ramp double click to apply that and let's place this point right over here and this one right over here so basically let's set this to zero and now we can hide this layer select the camera box layer go into effects and preset and search for time displacement double click to apply that and here in the displacement map layer i'm going to set this to displace layer that is the top one and change this to effect and mask and now you can see animation is driven through the gradient that we just created so you can use it in number of different ways you can play around with the settings however you want to but i'm going to set this to 0.3 and let's set the time resolution to 800 now make sure you increase the time resolution depending on how powerful your pc is because the smoother it gets the heavier it will get so right now you can see we have this choppy look in itself it looks very nice i can bring that down to 20 and you will get a really different style so if i let's try it out with five let's see what we get pretty different results but i'm going to set this to around 800 should be a sweet spot it's going to get a bit heavy on the system so make sure you tweak it very carefully but it will give you a very nice smoother look as you can see right so if i preview this we have a really nice motion you can see we have this nice shadows as well because we switched to advanced 3d we have a really nice three-dimensional look to our animation and i want my animations to start from right here i think that should be fine really really cool so now let's go ahead and add some nice color to this so to do that i'm going to create a new composition call this color and press ok and let's drag the displacement composition inside this so there we go and to color this i'll i'll be using colorama double click to apply that again go into the output cycle and let's change this to something like ramp red to get a starting point and change the red color double click and change it to white let's add a few points and let's add some nice color to this i'm gonna go with this one for this let's add a tint of orange and here i'm gonna add a nice purple tone i think something like this looks good so now if i preview this you can see we have this really nice and colorful look now this is going to work only on shadow section of our text so if i hide this you can see the color is applied wherever we have a blend of white and black wherever there is gradient so you can use it as it is if you want to and if you want you can color this up i like to use it in a black and white theme personally so let's go into our main rendered comp and assemble everything to create a final look so first things first i'm going to add the color composition Control y to create a new solid call this bg for background press ok put it below damn that's looking cool on this i'm gonna create a new adjustment layer call this noise just to make it look a bit more interesting go into effects and presets search for a noise effect uncheck the use color noise because we are going with a black and white theme set the noise amount to around 15 so we have a little bit more detail into our section and then we have a few textures that i will be using you can download the free project file by the way link is in the description as always so first i'll drag the paper texture 3 on top and toggle switch to get the blend modes and change this one to screen also i don't want this yellow color on this so we can simply add a un saturation effect and bring down the saturation bring that down 
also press T and bring down the opacity depending on the intensity you want. I'm going to keep it somewhere around here should be fine. Then let's drag the texture to on top. Change the blend mode of this to lighten. Again, bring down the opacity depending on the look you're going for. And finally, the texture one. I want this texture to be applied only on the white section of our text. So I'm going to set this to multiply and that is looking fine. So now we have this really nice textured look as you can see in this particular section. It's looking very, very cool. Yep. Just I want to do one more thing to make the animation look a bit more interesting is what we can do is we can leave it right here. It's looking fine, but let's take it one step further. I'll go back into my color composition, select the displacement composition, go into effects and presets. We are not using color, so we can hide that, but we can add a transform effect, double click to apply that. And let's add a little bit of skew on this. So I'll go at the very start, set the skew to around 10 should be fine. Create a keyframe, go to one second and 15 frames. Then let's go to one second and 15 frames and set this to minus 20. Then go to three seconds and let's copy paste the first keyframe, control C, control V. So now we should have a much more exaggerated animation. And now what we can do is we can apply the same animation curve to this. So we can select this and just make sure to set that 70, 70 should be fine. So we have this really nice look. I think 70 is a bit too much. Let's go with something like 60. Yeah, that is looking much better. And of course I want this to loop. So hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, type in loop out. There we go. So now we have a continuous looping animation and it looks much more exaggerated and stretchy. So you can see before and after it makes a lot of difference we can also bring down the scale a little bit so somewhere on there should be fine 75 percent looks good let's go back into our main render com and let's see the final look and as you can see this is looking really really cool and the best part is that you can anytime change the text maybe add a different color if you want to you know exaggerate the shadows if you want to so you can go into the displacement turn on colorama and maybe we can go with, uh, let's say ramp red and let's double click, make it white and go right here and let's make it like a gray color and that will exaggerate the shadows. So you can see if I move this point, you can see how we can play with the shadows and basically increase the intensity. So before, after. So this will add a much more three-dimensional look, which I personally like. And there you go. So there we have a really nice typography animation made inside of After Effects without using any plugin. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my completes. We have more than 500 plus tutorial on this channel ready for you, pretty advanced. And you will not find any such videos on YouTube elsewhere. So if you're new here to subscribe to the channel, you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.